Hi, this is Shadi and I hope you all had wonderful weekend with your family and happy holidays to everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about something that I've been noticing throughout my studies and observations. So the fact that we are all stuck and we cannot go and train, uh, it allowed us to just sit there and review footage and archives and study things and it allowed me to notice a lot of things. So for example, I've been looking through the archives of Inoue on fighting films and there was this chapter called Attack on Right Side and talks about where Inoue, talks, uh, Inoue attacks the same side, the sleeve and the lapel and how it allowed him to have uh, far more surprising attacks. So I've talked about the Japanese having a very classical sleeve and lapel grip, but sometimes an opponent would just not let you have it and that's normal. This is judo and this is part of grip fighting. So the first one that they talked about was the same side armpit and uh, lapel grip. Here you can see uh, grabbing the armpit with his left hand and the lapel with his right and pushing with his forearm on Uki's head. And in it, he has many attacks like Osotogari and Uchimata. Um, here you can see demonstrating an Uchimata with this grip. And keep in mind, these footage are from 2009. Kose in a way worked with fighting films back in 2009 and produced the box set or the triple DVDs, the Samurai, uh, Uchimata and uh, the Judoka. So uh, this is the stuff that he had uh, came up with or also learned from Yasuhiro Yamashita, his trainer. And I'm very pleased to know that these things, uh, these teachings at least survive till this day in uh, grand competitions. And we're going to see a few examples of these grips. So he has many grips that he taught. This is the first one. Um, look at this example against uh, Trenu. Uh, he could not get his right side, uh, the lapel, the right lapel. So he had to attack from the same side. Uh, this is another grip he talked about. So Eri Seonage. This is particularly when he is against a right-handed opponent. These lapel tricks that he uh, performed. So here you can see against Trenu. Trenu, by the way, is a bronze medalist from the Sydney Olympics. And look how it translated to look no further than the Tokyo 2019 Maruyama still producing this grip against someone that would just not give him a grip that he wanted, which is the classic sleeve and lapel. He was against Egypt Abdel Mawjoud and produced this Uchimata because he could not get his preferred grip. Look at it here. He grabs both side and just produces this Uchimata. I know it's not a perfect Uchimata, but he did uh, end up being a world champion that day. Let's look at it again. From that grip, he produced that Uchimata that Inoue uh, taught us in fighting films videos in 2009. So 10 years later, and look how his teachings still survive. Very secretive. You just have to look at it. You just have to uh, grab have the attention and just study all types of footage against throughout the years. Another one is the armpit grip. The armpit grip is very important in Inoue's arsenal. Um, whenever he doesn't have the sleeve, it's specifically against right-handers as well. Because um, if you grab the sleeve, they can just dominate uh, your hand, your shoulder with their dominant grip. So he just uses the armpit grip in order to push against the dominant grip in order to uh, keep pressure off his shoulder. So here you can see Ono doing it, uh, same side and also uh, armpit grip do doing his very famous Osotogari with this grip. Again, look, he protects his shoulder with the armpit grip. Here Haidarov could not get like a shoulder, deep shoulder grip escapes and produces a phenomenal Osotogari. So again, his teachings live on the stuff that he learned. Look at this one here. It's same side and also uh, armpit grip as I've shown from the earlier grips. So it's very important how in a way was not just a phenomenal judoka, but also a phenomenal trainer. His tips and tricks that produced many medals for him. Now it's doing the same, but for his team now that he is head coach of the Japanese team. So 
it's nice to like i said pay attention and see his secret teachings uh, live on through the judokas that he's training and again fighting films archives from 1981 so it's very important to have this kind of access i highly encourage you get some sort of access to fighting films the other one is the ankle rotation ankle rotation is specifically important for the uchimata uh, when kosei inoue went to the plus 100 it was very hard to throw a big large man that were far taller than him far heavier than him with uchimata so he relied on the ankle rotation with her supporting foot why the ankle rotation is very important because it allows to increase the momentum of the throw of the pull to be ex uh, to be exact because if you don't know this uh, this is from high school basically uh, momentum equals force times distance and when you rotate the ankles toward the outside you are increasing the distance of the pull and thus increasing uh, momentum so it's very hard uh, it's very important to have momentum in your pulling against big heavy men look at the size difference here and check this out ankle rotation boom he's just flat on his back for ippon so the ankle rotation is very important for the uchimata especially when you're going on the outside and also against bigger heavier men and this is something that he had to work on when he uh, transferred to the plus 100 uh, category and even in the minus 100 because they are still big and heavy men uh, let's see an uchimata without an ankle rotation it's not as elegant as the others and he is oh no look planting his head uh it's very dangerous in a jujitsu context he can give out his back and also get uh mounted even so even in a self-defense uh scenario this is very dangerous planting your head this way look look at this it's very yes it does it score upon absolutely but is it good for jujitsu or uh, self-defense co context absolutely not let's see Maruyama here he goes he falls with him he loses balance towards the end so anchor rotation also uh, helps you keep being uh, on top and have always a dominant grip even when you fall down here he could have fallen into the guard let's see with an anchor rotation how important it is he stood standing remaining uh, with a complete great posture check it out check out the anchor rotation and what an uchimata it produced here you can see he did actually two things he grabbed on both on the same side with the sleeve and lapel because le valois was not giving him the lapel and so he basically did the two things that i discussed in one move and produced arguably one of the best uchimatas uh in judo in modern judo history check out the ankle rotating towards the outside increasing momentum and also producing a flawless ippon so kosei in a way again he is my favorite of all time for a reason first being a great judoka and technician and also as a man i've talked about him being a true samurai having family values uh, tightening his bed before a fight taking the fight as a fight for life or death uh, honoring his mother on the olympic podium when he took his uh, gold medal and also just not giving up regardless of his body failing him against yuri ryback in 2005 and yet he went on to win the kano cup that year so and now he is producing legends and champions throughout these little details and teachings so Kosei Inoue is arguably the best judoka that ever happened to Japan and to judo in general. He has so many versatile techniques like Seyoenage, Ochigari, Uchimata. Uh, I'm gonna talk about his sweeps. Uh, he wasn't just a master of Uchimata, but he had many sweeps. I'm gonna dedicate a video of him for sweeping. Uh, also, again, a formidable judoka and a formidable human being that has given us so much content to look out and learn and just enjoy from an entertaining standpoint if you have anything else to add please let me know down below uh, this was very interesting for me to learn and observe all this footage 
fighting films has done us judokas a great uh, service from 1981 till now 40 years of content and also it allows me to study and become a better judoka so this was shady and thank you for listening <laughs>